Hello everyone, welcome back youtube.com slash geeklad for another Let's Install. Today it is Postal 4, no regrets. And a big shout out to the developers for supplying the key for this very install and making it possible. Thank you very much. It is your support of the Let's Install series that lets Geek Aloud continue on its merry way. And of course, we will be discussing our hands-on impressions of Postal 4, no regrets, during the Gaming Enforcement Agency. That's right. It's our weekly video gaming podcast right here on Geek Aloud. It's myself, Bully Unky Dunky, discussing the games we've played during the week, discussing the news of the week, and then we move on into everyone's favourite segment, the standoff. It's where we put the best of video gaming up against the other best of video gaming. Now, Postal, the Postal series, I should say, uh, has a long history with me. I've only ever played it on PC. I'm not sure. It doesn't sound like Postal 4 is the first console game, but it'll be the first, certainly the first version of Postal, Postal, any of them that I've played on console. Previously played them all on PC and loved them there. Uh, they're obviously satirical over the top. It's kind of like the first person shooter equivalent of Grand Theft Auto. Obviously you can go first person mode in Grand Theft Auto 5 now, so they're a bit there, but you know what I mean? It's that sort of cynical, satirical view uh, of the world. And typically I think it was what... Um, Central America, I want to say. Uh, anyway, it's uh, an, it's a story set in America. It's like an American farming town, I believe. Uh, and it's just day-to-day -day life there. And of course, Postal, uh, the main character, loses their plot and goes, uh, Postal, as the old saying goes. But I can tell you, Postal for No Regrets is a download size of 14.135 gigabytes coming in, as I said, to a PlayStation 5. You can see there it is also available on the PlayStation 4. If anyone out there is interested in the PlayStation 4 Let's Install of Postal 4, please let me know and it will be my pleasure uh, to get it done. But for now, let's install Postal 4 right here, youtube.com slash giggleout.
All right, everyone, it's getting exciting now. Postal 4, ready to play. Let's boot it on up, shall we? Uh, we'll check out that main menu. We'll have a look and see if there's any performance or accessibility settings uh, we'd recommend tweaking. This video game is solely for entertainment. That's right, you need to warn people before you make a joke these days. All right, where are we? Uh, settings land. Games? What have they got for us? Allow autosave at all checkpoints. That makes a lot of sense. Allow timed autosave. Yes, please. Is that minutes? I think every three minutes is a pretty good uh, autosave interval myself. I'm going to leave that set just like that. Short, sort, excuse me, save list by time. Yeah, absolutely. Inventory hints, gameplay hints. Don't auto switch. View Bob. Uh, weapon Bob and Head Bob, if you're susceptible to motion sickness, you might want to flick those off. For me, I'm happy with them on though. Uh, switch inventory on pickup, sure. Uh, toggle. Oh, there's. You've got the hold, so you can flick holds on if the old arthritis in the fingers is troubling you. Motion blur. We'll go ahead and turn motion blur off. Thank you very much. Uh, minimap transparency, that's fine. Minimap rotation, I can go with that. Show minimap, yes. Vehicle settings, what do we got? Default camera. Activate radios on scooter. I could enjoy their banter, I think. Uh, oops, settings, went out one too far. Audio, what do we got? Display subtitles, turn those off, thanks very much. Uh, all the rest of that should be just fine. Controls, show default controls, here we go. Yep, that's all pretty standard. Standard stuff there. Uh, aim assist, we'll leave that on. Uh, crouch toggle, leave that on. Invert, no inverts, thank you. Dead zones will be fine, hopefully, I assume. That all seems just fine. So, there are all the settings there we can recommend on the recently released Postal 4. I believe it was last Friday. Let's bounce on out now and get to a menu here and pull up the particulars, shall we? I can tell you, Postal 4, no regrets, on the PlayStation 5 is currently version 1.00.004, and that is a full and complete install of 14.51 gigabytes. Thank you again to the developers for supplying the code for this install. I appreciate it greatly. And to all the viewers out there, this is my invitation to you. Come along tonight, that's right, 8 p.m. this evening for the Gaming Enforcement Agency. Myself, Bully, Unky Dunky, doing a live video game podcast uh, live stream here on YouTube. And that, of course, means you can chat with us the whole time. Bully will flick the chats uh, into the show as we go. It'd be great to see you. As I said, 8 p.m. this evening. What else can you do with Geek Aloud? Like it, subscribe it. You'll never miss it. Yeah. <laughs>